Have you seen a new marketing menu item in the back end of your Shopify store, but you're not sure what it does? No worries, I've got you covered. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna break down exactly what that new tab is and all the cool new functionality that it has. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Elle McCann and I'm the owner and designer of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been Shopify experts for over five years now and I am so excited about this really cool new functionality that lets you run Google and Facebook ad campaigns directly from your Shopify store. So while there's still benefit of going to those platforms and running your ads through your Facebook ads manager, for example, there is some really cool functionality of being able to run the ads directly from your Shopify store. So that way, while you're already in the Shopify backend, you can go ahead and set up those campaigns, especially whenever you're just publishing new products to go ahead and get it out there quickly. So let's go ahead and hop into my screen and I'll show you exactly what to do. So we are now in the back end of my Shopify store for TomoFit. And you can see here that there is this new tab that I was mentioning called the marketing tab. So I am clicked into it now and you can see here that you're initially prompted with this create campaign. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and click this button. So it prompts you to go ahead and do either a Google smart shopping campaign or a Facebook carousel ad campaign. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go through setting up a Facebook carousel ad. So one key thing to know with the marketing tab is that you do have to have a sales channel set up on your site already to be able to use this functionality. So you can see over here, I already have a Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram sales channel on the left. So because of that, and it's already set up, I'm able to do the marketing through this site as well. So we're going to go in and initiate everything now and get it set up. So I'm going to just hit set up Facebook marketing. And now it's prompting us to link our Facebook account. So I'm going to go ahead and connect account. So I am an admin of a few different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Facebook account now. And now it's pulling in all of the different accounts that I have. So I'm going to come in and click Tomo. And I also have business manager accounts for all of these as well. So I'm going to go in and click Tomo as well. And, and then I'm going to select my target country, which is going to be the US. Okay, and complete setup. So for this, they're wanting you to go in and look at the terms. So as you can see here, you do actually have to read these. So we're going to click in and it's going to open it in a new tab to where you will go in and now see this on Facebook. And I'm going to accept it here. And same with the Facebook business tools terms. So these are all about you know, not discriminating against people and how the information is being shared and used. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes on that. And now that we are back, you can see both are checked and we're going to hit done. Okay. And everything is set up again. It says here, this pixel information may take up to five minutes to load. Um, if you don't have a Facebook pixel yet set up for your store and your Facebook page, I highly recommend doing that because that's going to let you have the most targeted amount of information from this. So now that we are linked, I'm going to go ahead and hit create ad in the right hand corner. Now I will say that it's great having the marketing tab in your Shopify store because you're able to do this all within your store. So if you're already, you know, fulfilling orders or setting up new products, you're able to do this right here. However, there is still a benefit of still going into your Facebook ad account and setting up ads there as well. Currently, in the marketing tab, the Facebook campaign can only be for carousel ads. So where you see this multiple products that are being featured there. But there are so many different other types of ads that you can do with Facebook, like video ads, single image ads, and 
you can only do that currently if you go into your Facebook ad manager. So I do recommend still using that functionality. However, if you are gonna be setting up a carousel ad, it is really nice being able to do this inside your Shopify store. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to name the campaign. So I'm just gonna do this a general campaign name um, in terms of just getting sales. and the activity name of what we want our results to be tracked. So again, it's telling you about how to name these things. So it's not completely crucial to the ad setup of how you name it. However, it is going to be really helpful for just going back and especially if you set up multiples of these to know exactly what the ads are about. So I'm just gonna add a few more descriptors in here. Okay, and then next is the choosing of the product. So I am just going to click in here and do browse and select which products I want to show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a few that I know are gonna be bigger hits. So it's October right now, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I am going to click our breast cancer shirt here, as well as we'll click a couple others. And I'm gonna kind of just vary the, the colors as well as um, the variety, just so that we have a few different types. So I have three, four, five, okay? So you can do up to five. Okay, and then I'm just gonna refresh it over here so I can see what that looks like in the carousel. It's not gonna load for us. So let's go ahead and come down here and start adding in our text. Oh, here it goes. So you can see here, uh, this is just the default text, but you can see how it's a slider and it's showing all the different products. It's pulling in the product name, the business name, a shop now button that would go to that product page, and then you can have the see more at our logo at the end. So sadly, we're not able to drag and drop things around. You're just able to remove items. Um, and it's just doing it in alphabetical order. So that is an, another thing that you are able to control that in the Facebook ad manager. So kind of pros and cons of which you wanna go with. So I'm gonna add in some ad text now. Okay, and so again, we have typed this in and I can come up here and refresh it. So another great thing about trying different ads is that you can also see, you know, test the different products that you're doing as well as the different type that you're adding in as well. So I'm gonna go in and just fill this out just a little bit more. So in case they don't click on one of the images here, I'm gonna put a link in the description. I'm just gonna grab this URL. So I don't wanna send the traffic to my homepage because then they're kind of getting distracted. So I'm gonna send them straight to this shop page. So I am just copying that and then I'm gonna replace that here. Again, that's something that I see so many people mess up with is that they're sending people to the homepage and then as soon as customers hit the home page, they're getting kind of distracted because there's a lot of things going on. So make sure that any of your paid advertising you're sending not to your home page, but to a specific collection or product. So if they click here, they're gonna go to a collection of all of our products. If they click on any of these images, they're gonna go to the individual product that they have selected. Okay, and then now we're going to come down and you can choose the targeting method. So there's a few different 
um, ways that you can have that. So you can either have it to people who have purchased from you in the past, store visitors, or people who like your page. So what I really want to do though is the interest. So this way we can get even more specific. So here we can choose the interest that people would like. So I'm gonna do fitness since we have fitness clothes. And let's see. And I'm gonna say physical fitness. And let's see, let's see if they have any women's fitness. Maybe My Fitness Pal, which is a, a very popular app, at least in the US, for tracking like calories and whatnot. So you're trying to think of what your potential customers would be involved in. So for example, like I was saying, the, the fitness app of if they're tracking their calories, they're probably also working out and being into their their body and health overall. So you can come in and choose a lot of different things. There's individual gyms that we could choose of if they like Planet Fitness or Anytime Fitness. And we could really go in and change this. We could even do fitness and figure competitions. So if they're doing a, a figure competition, which um, is a lot of work, then it's, you know, they're willing to invest the money in their lifestyle and in their healthy choices. So we could select something like this. Okay, so we have a couple different ones that we have included, and now we're going to set up the targeting recommendations. So you can either set this to be lifetime budget, which you can see here, or you can set that to be daily budget. So we can go ahead and choose. It's really kind of up to you. Um, if you do daily budget, then you may want to do a start and end time to make sure you don't go over anything, um, or you may want this to continually keep running and then just monitor that. If you have a specific budget in mind, like you only have $50 to spend, then you could do lifetime budget. So we'll just set this at $35 lifetime still. And we're gonna have this start today and we're gonna have it end in a week as well. And you can change the start and end times. So now that we've got this set up, I'm gonna refresh this one more time. Okay, and we can also see here in terms of desktop, and mobile. So we can see exactly how this looks if they're shopping on mobile devices. So they would be able on the mobile device to then click over. So we're going to go ahead and hit publish. So we can see here that it has now been created and it is in review. So we can see once it actually starts bringing in some sales or some sessions, which you can see here, you'll then be able to do the view report and we can click into that and you'll actually see some overall parameters. So you can look at the, the last 30 days in terms of how many sales, visits, orders it brought to your site, as well as you know where people are getting lost. So you can see here if a lot of people added the product to the cart and reached the checkout but didn't purchase, it may be an issue with your shipping cost. Um, or something along those lines. So you can really get a lot of detailed information. If you put a, a discount code in there, you'd be able to see how many people actually use that as well as the average order value. So if they just purchase one product or if they purchase multiples. And a lot of information just of how people are coming in from this campaign and viewing your site and interacting with it. So if we go back to the marketing tab, so you'll be able to see all of your results from your marketing efforts, as well as if you were sending any kind of email campaigns or doing, let's say, this is the Facebook campaign, so maybe doing also a Google Shopping. You'll be able to see all that information here and keep it all sorted so you know exactly what's going on and how many sales are being brought in so you can see what's working and what's not. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe below and check out our tutorials over here that I hope you will like as well, all about how to grow your online Shopify store.